Hello YouTube, this is Nikita. Since this is my first video, I'll give a really brief introduction about myself because I know how badly you guys want to learn music. I've been doing music and learning the piano ever since I was about 7 or 8 years old and just recently I started learning guitar and I'm also in chorus. I'm actually a soprano singer. In this channel, I want to teach how to play the piano, reading music, writing music. I'll also give tutorials on any requested, any genre songs. I'll try my best on that and I'll also teach singing I'll teach solfege and just everything in singing all the knowledge musical knowledge I know I will put that out there and just help everyone and what's wrong with this show? I mean come on you're learning music a really complicated subject for free and I'll try the best I could so the first thing you need to know is the notes on the piano and the most important note is this note right here middle C now what the importance of middle C is that the notes above middle C are in treble clef, meaning higher, and the notes below middle C are in bass clef, meaning lower. So how do you know which note is middle C? This C right here, it's in the middle. From all the Cs, this one's in the middle, so it's middle C. So to know the notes on the piano, it's C, D, E, F, G, a, B, and back to C. But don't get confused, this one isn't middle C. The one in the middle is middle C. So those are the white notes I just showed you. Those are the names of the white notes. And before we get to the names of the black notes, we need to know what a half step and a whole step is. What a whole step is, is basically from a white key to another white key. Or you could go upwards, downwards, it's still a white key to another white key consecutively. What a half step is, is from a white key to a black key, or from white key to black key. When you have half steps, you have either you go higher or lower. If you go a half step higher, it's called a sharp note. If you go a half step lower, it's called a flat note. So if we were looking at this D note right here, and we went a half step up, it would be called a D sharp. If you're looking at this D again and we went a half step downwards, it would be a D flat. Same thing with any note. So if I was looking at this G and I went a half step up, it would be a G sharp. If I was looking at this G and I went a half step down, it would be a G flat. Now, the confusing thing about the black keys is that it could have more than one name. It could have two names most of them. So if I was looking at this G note again and I went a half step up, it would be called a G sharp. But if I was looking at this A note over here and I went a half step down, it would be an A flat. So it all depends on which note you're looking at. It could be written both ways, but it determines which note you're looking at. So if I was looking at this D back again over here, and I went a half note up, it would be a D sharp. If I was looking at this E and I went a half note downwards, it would be a D f E flat, sorry, it would be an E flat. So it is confusing, but that's basically the keys of this. So if we were looking at the C, half step up, C sharp. If I was looking at this B over here and I went a half step down, B flat. So those are the notes, and now if we know these notes, we know every note on the piano. And how do we do how do we know that? It's because of the concept of what an octave is. Now oct means eight, and octave means eight notes. So if I had this C over here and I counted eight whole notes up, it will come back to a C note. Let's try it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. If I count, if I know the name of the notes, then C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and back to C. C what an octave is, is basically the same notes in that set of eight. So if I had this D, and it works with any note, so if I had this D and I counted eight steps, it would be another D. So that's one octave. But I could also have two octaves. So if I was looking at these two E's, they're two octaves apart. That's all an octave is. It's the same note, but 
higher, lower, two octaves, one octave, however many. That's all I'm going to teach you in this video because there's a bunch more to do. But for now, that's this video. Thank you and please, 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 please go on and watch my further videos when they come out.